Hello everyone, welcome back to Forgotten Tales. Alright. So we will have someone Sir. new joining us today. Uh, introduce yourself. Oh, that's me. Yes, that's you. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm... I'm Josh and I'll be playing the character No Eyes. Where is his eyes? I don't know, I can't see him. <laughs> Alright, so, really quick. Um, Kevin, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have you make another persuasion really quick. Just right out the oh, gap. Yeah. Who's that the... Uh, we're Who's... keeping your last persuasion of not being able to get him free. However, I'm gonna have you make a persuasion to see if you convinced them to give you any of, uh, his belongings. Um. Yeah, Alright. Guess you can see. They will the give. They they give some. Not all of them are available. Let's see. The options that they give you are his armor, his war sword, a coin pouch. And I'll say his javelin of lightning, and anything you bought. So the uh, staff of tough love, the black scales, and the ring of magic. Yeah, those are the. Uh, would you like any of those back? Definitely like those back. So, they don't seem to be in the gear description. I mean... Hold on, uh, let's see. I can uh, show that to you. That's... There you go. <laughs> I'm... So the war sword, lightning javelin, armor, gold, and then uh, staff of tough love, wooden shield, Large black scales, rings of anti magic. Does anybody else want this ring of anti, -ma anti magic on them? Or... I mean, a very magical person does not want it. <laughs> so basically, anyone else in the party except for. <laughs> yeah. If not, I'll. No wise, which on. you have not met yet. <laughs> And, and if no, if nobody else wants the uh, wants the ring, I'll, I'll I'll put it on. You you could always sell it too. I just bought it. It's, it's a useful item. So here's what you do: you sell it, but make it even more expensive than it are than it was. I don't even remember how much I paid for it. Just put in a random number and add three zeros behind it. See, so you paid. I uh, got that from. It's in Lanteron. Magical Wizardry? No, it's probably the tones. Nope, it's not tones. Selling Scepter? That's it's a Tavern. We get that. <laughs> uh, hmm. Oh, you bought it here, but I don't know where we bought it. Yes. Can I remove it? If I remember, I, have, I, I can't. I, I have, have it gear, uh, written down. I can grab uh, the details really quick. It's not. It's not in the gear description either, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, maybe it's in the trade cover. Nope. Yeah, I. I think you paid like two hundred thirty something. Ah. 
So while we look at that, we are going to uh, quickly go back to the tavern, back in time, uh, right when, uh, right after you left, uh, because we're going to test something out. You left uh, early. Everyone else is still uh, in the inn. Oh, there right. we go. So uh, you see Sweet Roll desperately trying to eat a huge a whole loaf of bread, but every time she tries to stuff it in her mouth, so a magical barrier erects in her mouth and it just bounces off. <laughs> I just want to eat you! <laughs> Nakai is perplexed as he has never seen something suffer in this way. Benedict walks out of the room. <laughs> I just want to eat the bread. She's just curls up. <laughs> I'm sure what to do before trying once again. So, <laughs> I want you guys to uh, find a way to make your way out of the room, and uh, because I see more than the players do, so, and I'm curious on how this new uh, system works for you. See the room because uh, you're not in it. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Benedictus? Yeah, I could do that. Oh, hello. Ah, I, I see that. I see what you did here. Dynamic lighting. Uh, okay, well, I just uh, discovered a problem with this. I basically just moved my character around all over the screen and unlocked everything. Don't do that. <sighs> Follow the paths! Follow the paths! Over here. Over here. Over here. And then, if I take my... There you go. It's a horrible week. There you go. Anyway, that was just a little thing for us to uh, mess around with. Another thing is I can now do something like... I'll go with this. I can now do this. Magic. Okay. Now back to the town. <laughs> so, uh, as you all walk out uh, to... What uh, happened? I can use magic now. <laughs> uh, you all walk out uh, to no, catch up to Benedict. To, uh, gender, I mean. And, uh, as you're walking through the town square, this large figure, uh, walks past you and bumps into Nakai. There's my, my character. I'm covered up my names. Uh, did this in any way seem aggressive, like a shoulder check? Uh, roll perception to see if uh, you can tell that or not. <laughs> it just Wouldn't gonna that be insight or insight. You could do either. E or either or, or, whichever one you prefer. <laughs> I'll, I'll say. Fuck you. Uh, they're both plus four, so let's do insight. Um, it does not seem aggressive. I just, I look at him, I say like, hey, can you watch where you're, and then I see the bandages over his eyes, and I'm just like, sorry. Mm. It's probably more my fault. I was distracted. Why won't this go in my mouth? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 
You, I imagine you see down the hall. I imagine you see something slide hold down on, the hallway on, and hit on. the wall. Um. Okay, keep going. I I, I imagine you. <laughs> keep going. What is that music? <laughs> I, I imagine you uh, hear that and then immediately after something shoots down the wall hallway and hits a wall. That's in sight. After uh, looking at it, you see it's now. <laughs> It's now a piece of meat. <laughs> it's like a, like, you know, like a one piece with like the meat and the bone sticking out like that. <laughs> okay. Beep. Who is it? Superman, anyway. I've come to fix the sink. <laughs> Step brother, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway. I'm the window viper. I've come to wipe your windows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you've encountered uh, Jandar. You've collected all the stuff. Will you uh, start heading back or... We've killed. Oh, cops me. Yes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the armor because I don't really need it. Okay. Um. But I'll probably I don't leave the gold and the armor and take everything else. I'll have a good night, stay guards. Be safe out there. So, uh, you make your way back, and, uh, you see the, uh, altercation between No Eyes and, uh, Nakai. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Map malfunctions. <laughs> Go. The uh. why is... I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> Goliaths are, seem to be rare in Utopia. Also, is no is Noah's taller than Nakai? Uh, how tall is Nakai? I mean, he's a lizard man. I'm pretty sure he's big. But he's also fairly large for a lizard man. <laughs> A Goliath is just big in general. It's... Uh, well, I have an exact uh, measurement for uh, No Eyes. Uh, no Eyes is seven foot nine, I believe. Okay, so Nakai is six. like looking up at someone for the first time, and he, this is very confusing to him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hmm, I'm not used to this feeling in my neck. <laughs> What's this crunching feeling when I look back? back? <laughs> what? what is going that? on? What are you running from? Don't. Don't die. <laughs> well, don't upset zombies. <laughs> is she playing a game? <laughs> She's, She's playing, playing Minecraft. Minecraft. <laughs> Oh, it's been a while since I've heard anyone that freaked out about zombies in Minecraft. I mean, you should have... <laughs> Dude, I, I started getting That's into the Resident Evil series. You should have seen me playing through the first game. Uh... <laughs> I ended up having to play the Yakety Sax. <laughs> Aren't, wasn't there supposed to be a, a trade caravan? Um, you could. Ch Molly's going crazy. Yeah, I think we beat them to town. Well, there's there's multiple. Hooray for Griff! You uh, you could check uh, your map if you want. So I do want to check my map. Okay. To the map. I need to find out what happened. Oh, there's. Okay, so there's one here. 
I want to. I want to stop at this one. Oh, I want through town. Okay. Before we go through here. Didn't I'm gonna go here though. Yeah, I thought Wait. you. Uh, hold on. I thought your pathing was gonna be Bad. from here to here, back to town, down here, and then up to the capital. I thought that was. The I actually, thing. I just totally forgot that this was not the thing, and that it was just a beam of light. I still need to check out this beam of light, though. We just have yeah, a we bigger. We know what they are. Water. This, we know what they are, and we know we gotta stop them. I, I vaguely remember what Benedict told us. Yeah. So well, what yeah, I was what I what I recall is that we have to go to the library and the temple in the ocean in order to get the artifacts before we can actually yeah. fix whatever's going on. Yeah, so we need to go here and then figure out how to get there. So, uh, No Eyes is just kind of standing in the street as you're all just pulling out your maps talking about this. No yeah, idea what's no going on. <laughs> what is we this? Talk about what we're doing. We gotta yes. figure out our next plan. It's just a bystander. We don't need to talk to him. <laughs> you guys... hey, that way it looks kind of tough. <laughs> You guys talking about those beams that are in the sky? You can see those? I can <laughs> sense them. I mean, uh, I suppose that makes sense. I mean, they are like super magical. <laughs> Even I can feel them a little bit. I think. She just looks at herself. <laughs> uh, uh, or is it just me I'm feeling? Roll. I I'm gonna say you roll an insight. To see if you know you can feel them or not. <laughs> Am I feeling my, my wild magic or... Ah, uh, uh, yes, Insight, one of my best stats. <laughs> you do not! <laughs> you do not! It's all oh my fuzzy! God, I'm <laughs> You start feeling yourself up. It's all fuzzy and warm. Guys, I think I'm gonna explode soon. <laughs> I'm scared. I think... I think that's quite it. <laughs> Whatever you are. <laughs> oh, happy. Hey, are you not a human? I thought you were a human. I am a human. You don't, you don't seem to remember what I, what I am when I told you what I am. Because a lot of things with feathers around these parts. <laughs> More things should have feathers. Anyway, yeah, we're we're uh, we're on a mission. Uh, we're gonna try and. We learned that the beams of light are rather hazardous, so I uh, kind of want to stop them. So uh, we're, we're on a we're on a mission to to find the earth. words. <laughs> yes, words. I'm, I'm tired. Okay, I'm tired. We have to. We have to collect these little spheres and uh, somehow deactivate these lights. Hmm. Did you just try to show something to a blind person? I'm not showing you anything. I'm just explaining what's happening. <laughs> I mean, I can I can show you things. Do you want me to show you something? I am blind. Do you think I can see? <laughs> I mean... Wait! I mean... Can you see anything? <laughs> oh, I think I know I what I was doing before. Uh, you, can, you can't see anything because you got something over your eyes. I've done that before too many times. 
But if you take it off, you'll be able to see again. I no eyes removes his blindfold to show that his eyes are clouded over. See, you should be able to see now. Sir, you have to excuse <laughs> bird. He's not the most intelligent of creatures. What are you talking about? I'm like super smart. It was born without sight. Nothing can change that. Oh no, that's horrible. No eyes puts his blindfold back on. <laughs> Maybe we could find, like, a wizard or something that can help you out. You think I haven't tried? I don't know. I just met you. Hmm. <laughs> True, little one. So what brings you around these parts, Mr... What's your name? Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, just call me No Eyes. That's what most call me. Uh, pleased to meet you. My name's Jandar. Jandar Vara. We call him Arrow. <laughs> My name is Benedict Arnold. We call him Book. <laughs> that one's Bird and that one's Lizard. <laughs> Yep. We got bird. Lizard, lizard folk are real simple in the naming scheme. <laughs> We're, uh, uh, our, other, our big bird is uh, kind of in jail at the moment. For what reason? Um, he was a jerk, apparently. Well, me and him decided to uh, have a, eat something. Have a few drinks. And then... He got really, really mad at the bartender, uh, not the bartender, the uh, waitress. And he tried to hit her with a table. He could not fail to do table. that. <laughs> he rolled he one, to three times to pick up a fucking table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, he failed to do that, and so he just threw her out a window. She almost died. <laughs> Fools that I find in this land. I mean, I think he's just as stupid as of us all, but. I don't know, it's, it's between him and Sweet Roll. Let's be no. honest. <laughs> the rest so... of us are more intelligent than that. So you're telling me that. Your group com is comprised of a bird that's in jail for trying to, uh, for succeeding in throwing somebody out of a, a window. So, a smaller bird that doesn't understand how people can be blind. I'm just I saying, I don't think you can be blind forever. There's got to be some way to fix it. You just have to ignore him sometimes. And then he can't tell a person's gender. She po she points out a uh, gender. What? Uh, she said, and then he can't tell a person's gender, and then pointed at gender. I can tell people's gender. What are you talking about? No, not your uh, gender. Uh, I feel like I said something wrong there. No, that that was my end. I had a brain fart. <laughs> and, uh, she was anyways, yeah, our, our main liner is kind of in jail at the moment. I mean, we have a frontliner who he, he likes. He thinks it's a good idea be to hide behind me all the time. I'm not no, a I don't know why. Idiot. 
What, make, what makes you think I'm a good shield? I'm not going to use shield. All I'm saying is that I'm not the me. one who's going up front. Yeah, and you do that by getting behind me all the time. If anything hits me, it's going to go through me and hit you anyways. Don't get behind you. Get in front of me. Mm -hmm. Something tells me that this is not an organic composition. No, they're... Uh... This one tried to kill me. I mean, we're all or <laughs> we're all organic except for Book's arm. Yeah. Anyway, um, um, there's also some sort of curse thing going around. Uh, what are they calling? It? Oh, I'm gonna shuffle through my Volatile bags. blight. <laughs> Volatile blight. <laughs> no. Mm. Supposedly, um, it makes um, certain races go into a berserk frenzy. So this uh, bird here tried to kill us. You could tell how it failed. This little one tried to kill you. Yeah, but failed miserably, because little. I still, what, I don't remember ever trying to kill you. No, uh, people are wary of them. Anyways, I liked, uh, I liked this, uh, Cotton It Peaceful, nah, uh, after the war, um, so I'd like to put it back to Peaceful, if I can. Mm. You wish for it to be peaceful again? So do I. So anyway, we're in, uh... We're heading out to this, uh, this library ruin thing, uh, somewhere southeast of here. Would you like to join us, friend? If you, if we, we would enjoy company, especially with the uh, frontliner, because we don't have any of those at the moment. <laughs> Except for this lizard who bites things. Blind man in the library. <laughs> yeah, we're trying. There's a library south, southeast of here. A blind man in the library. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a there's a library southeast of here. I mean, if you're going there for for reading, we're we're trying to find stuff. If you want, you could stay outside and then maybe have to hold up the building as it sinks into the sand. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, just don't, it just sinks don't into the sand? Just, just please don't let our griffin get stolen. Uh, about that. Uh, I'm. It's a desert. I honestly doubt that Griff will be able to make the entire flight. She might be able to make it uh, halfway, but it's a long distance and a lot of heat. Oh. Clearly, Griff hasn't traveled to places before. Uh, we'll fly half a day. We roll up, uh, probably cuts her chest out with uh, showing her uh, wings that have been through a lot. <laughs> Don't I bet you I can do it. So you, mm -hmm. so you wish for me to accompany you, just to help you fight in battles. 
I mean, we can pay you if you want. I can't. I'm out of gold. I used it all on my prosthetic. But it's uh, <laughs> it's mostly for uh, for the uh, continent's well-being. What are you looking for in this library? I'm well, looking for this uh, orb thing. Yes. Uh, it's supposed to be guarded by a uh, herald of uh, a demon king. However, if we do make it to the library, I might also be able to find more information on what's going on. Do you have one of these orbs that you say? We have two, right? Yes, we have two. We have two. Hmm. I would show you, but you're, uh, you kind of can't see them. Hmm. I kind of want to figure out what kind of aura they have. Has it on them? Is it? I uh, think it's Benedict. Yeah. Benedict uh, reaches into his bag and pulls them uh, both out. One sec. Let's see. Did they give us Cracker Jack? Uh, no. You do not have Cracker Jack or the uh, Drurugar that he enslaved. <laughs> oh, what? He might have a way to bust himself out. <laughs> I know. He probably could just freaking blow out of there. I hope we don't come across him as some kind of boss fight later. I will never see him again, guaranteed. Alright. Message has been sent. Mail is huge. Hmm. Interesting. What is that? <laughs> that that was the library Benedict was at before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Like that's new. Hmm. Interesting orbs you got there. Definitely have unique presents. Oh. Uh, my friend Brenedict. Brenedict. <laughs> Benedict. What did you just call Bren me? <laughs> Benedict here. Do not put the B uh. and the R together. The, uh. Bird might think it's something else. <laughs> Bread? So oh, right. He said the forbidden word! You, 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 you feel something immediately watching you, like it's some kind of predator. <laughs> you are small. Everybody duck! <laughs> Hit the floor! <laughs> He's going for the bread! <laughs> So you're saying that this is over at Benedict? You don't want to call him Benedict? <laughs> What's more, you feel small. Whatever, whatever predator's eyes are staring you down. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pull out a piece of bread and throw it down the street. <laughs> there's a flash as <laughs> there's a flash as sweet roll vanishes. <laughs> Benedict needs to think uh, his research that um, these orbs are key to defeating this issue. According to what I've found, these orbs combine into uh, they're, they're pieces of a spell. When all togethered into one place, they combine and create the spell we can use to seal Whatever they're trying to free, back where it belongs. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. We need uh, two more orcs to do that. 
And we also have uh, to somehow convince the king to have us his scepter. Mm. Oh, that's right. We also need the king's scepter, don't we? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Two more orbs and the king's scepter. If we have the other two orbs, we might be able to just convince him that again, we need a scepter and he'll just hand it over to us. Do any of you have connections to the nobles? I'm not even from this land. No, but I did, uh, I did fight in the military. I was a high-ranking scholar. Hmm. I just ended up here. He says, uh, no longer, with the, no longer having the bread. Hmm. Alrighty then. Well, my friend from another land. The Soma. I so convincing. I noble. <sighs> As high as the king it will be very difficult indeed. But getting all. You said there were four orbs? Yeah, but we have two of them. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I wonder. Anyways. Oh god, he's thinking. <laughs> Doomed. Brain power. Never seen such brain power from a lizard before. <laughs> lizard? He he's a giant, not a lizard. <laughs> Nikai takes offense to this. Interesting. Do you have... Uh, so, out of ca character, uh, what do they see as the orbs? Um, they look uh, like basically a colored pearl uh, the size of a uh, small child's basketball. Ish. A small child's basketball. You know those like super tiny uh, basketballs that you can get for the young kids. <laughs> it's basically the size of one of those. I thought you were gonna say like a young baby's head, but no. <laughs> <laughs> it is the size of a fetus. No. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay then. Hmm. You know, I will accompany you to this library, as I have a theory that I wish to put to the test. Well, do you mind sharing that theory? I will share it when it either gets proven or disproven. I want to provide misinformation. Works for me. Just, uh, I think we're getting ready to head out. Um, we're not going to bail this other dude out of prison. Uh, it's cheaper just to leave him in there for 25 years. Oh, shit, I just realized. We didn't do your goal, did we? Uh... Gold. Uh, gold. We don't need gold. So you, that's the gold you currently have is what you get from your background, Josh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's an easy. Well, uh, I'm more. I'm more have rolled for it, and and use that to get my equipment. Hmm. Also, that sounds like what you would be carrying. <sighs> 
If you want to keep it, you can. I just... Everyone starts with, uh, at least when we did it, uh, everyone started with 50 gold plus whatever they get from the background. So if you want a free 50 gold. I don't think you'd be able to buy anything with that extra 50 gold. Things are so expensive in this campaign. Okay, and it's not my fault that that's what the actual game prices these things at. <laughs> No, oh, but it's so expensive, is the thing. At least the food's... <laughs> the food's viable, though. I mean, there, you are trying to buy weapons and enchantments, things that normal people wouldn't be buying. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> I live myself. I have... I have five things in my inventory right now. <laughs> oh, I gotta climb a lot. Oh, we also aren't doing any weight, so. Alright. Anyway, back to the game! <laughs> yep! Alright, then. So I'll accompany you, you to see if my theory is correct. So you guys heading out? Are you going on foot or? Do you have everything? I believe yeah. I do. I think we can get going then. For the other two of these of uh, this group here get murdered by the townspeople. <laughs> so there is talk of hanging them. <laughs> I don't even know what they did. <laughs> now that I do think anything about it, there's imposters who look like us going around. There's four of us. Can't uh, Griff only carry three? I can fly. She's there's four really people, for yeah, and there's four of us who can't fly. <laughs> she starts counting. One, twenty-seven, three. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Doesn't beat progress. We might have to go there on foot. Yeah. I hate the desert. <laughs> Everyone hates the desert, Jandar. <laughs> There's a reason this library was abandoned to begin with. <laughs> Point taken. <laughs> I guess let's, let's, let's start walking. <laughs> Time to adjust characters. Let's see. Uh, oh dear the lord! Be them lobsters. <laughs> Everyone's so tiny on the standard uh, sheet. <laughs> well, it's because we were all shrunk down. All right. Your first encounter with the desert. So, I um, think maybe Josh is the only one who can see the uh, blue ring around uh, uh, No Eyes, but the rest of you might. Uh, that is No Eyes' vision. That that's all he can see, or sense. <laughs> okay. Um, how do we do this turn order thing? Uh, you uh, select your token. Token selected. And then you go to your character sheet. And you do your normal initiative roll. It just ties that uh, initiative to that token. 
14. Alright. There we go. So you're just immediately going into battle? <laughs> no, we're just testing it out. Okay. Uh, as, as you uh, walk through, you uh, see insects that look almost as if they're made out of rust. Mm. Rust? And you also see a, a shield. That has been just... It, it looks like it used to be iron. But it's just completely rust. I don't think we should let these ones touch us. <sighs> hmm. I turn our armor to rust. Not that I'm really wearing. Oh, that sounds so horrible. I am wearing... <laughs> yeah. Pretty I'm much wearing all of you are wearing cloth. All of you are wearing... It's wood! <laughs> My arm is wood! <laughs> but it still stands. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I mean, I suppose if we have any coins, they could probably get ruined, but, um... Yeah, I'm sure we'll find. Yeah, probably best to avoid it. That shield does look interesting. Look at either. Hit it. <sighs> or we could. Try and sneak past. I have idea. There's only one, right? Uh, no. There's three. Ah. Alright, then. So. So one of them is bigger than the other two. Ha! Huh. Ah. I have... An idea because I want to take a look at that shield. I want if if uh, two if two of three of you I'd probably suggest you three points at Benedict, Jedi, and Mackay were to draw them away from the shield. Then me and the little one flanked around and took a look at the shield. And then we might have something. Hmm. Actually, I might want to test something out. If you're down for it, Nakai. Nakai just gets this little grin. Um, hmm. Come on, Buck. Let's do this. Uh, Benedict runs up to the monsters uh, along with Nakai. I, I'm not sure that we should be... Okay, they're going at it. <laughs> just wait. Just, uh, Jan... <laughs> Uh, Jandar, you're Oh, they're all gonna die. Okay, so, uh, me and Batman the Garnold, uh, basically, uh, we're doing this little, uh, we're doing a high five. 
Basically, I'm casting Thunder Wave, and I'm doing it by high-fiving Benedict Arnold because he has his electric uh, enchantment on his wooden arm. Thunder. Basically a shockwave. <laughs> yeah, that's a 15-foot cube centered around me. Plus uh, 10 feet from Benedict, so that's anything within 25 feet. Of hold on. That might even catch no eyes. <laughs> no, I've explored. That's basically in between us. Yep, it catches no eyes as well. No, well, once that probably should have moved forward just a tad. <laughs> Actually, no, it still would have hit me. <laughs> Alright, so... How, how are we going to do the, the damage roll on that? <laughs> well, I guess first um, I have to make the save. Is, is there any save? Yeah, there's a constitution save. I'd say if oh, I'm it's good. Uh, both Benedict and the Kai have to make it as well. Oh. Crap. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so the two people casting it do not make it. So they will be. <laughs> And the one standing directly behind us does. <laughs> uh, I've been, I it's been a while since I've used this. Uh, left hand <laughs> side. Uh, left hand side. There should be a, a section that says saving throws. Uh, click the Constitution in that. Don't click the uh, box. Click the word. Aha. All right. So, uh, uh, time for these things. One. All, at least all three of them <laughs> don't uh, save. <laughs> yeah, they all failed at least. Uh, also, he no eyes uh, did save. Yes. Yeah. So. So, now how much do, damage does uh, your thunder clap do? Alright, so normally it does 2d8 thunder damage, and anyone who fails is pushed 10 feet away. So, uh, I'm going to do, um, 2d8 plus 1d4 damage, and 1d20 feet. So, you roll damage, I'll roll feet. Sure. Only, only. Uh, what did you say it was? 2d4 plus... Uh, 2d8 uh, plus 1d4. Sure. That's right, my bad. 2d8 plus 1d4. Damage! And only three feet. But we also take damage, so that's I'm at nine health. Oof. Okay. 
I look at uh, I look at Benedict Arnold and I'm just like, okay, maybe we don't do that again. That went a lot worse than I thought it would. <laughs> hey, they're away from the shield. <laughs> Yeah, but they're still alive, is the thing. Alive and probably angry now. Do I take half damage? Uh, good question. Yes. On a successful save, the creature takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. Okay, so you take four. Not that that matters. Although, uh, no eyes also takes four, so... And now that I have this, oh, also, unsecured Ooh. objects are blasted away as well. So, did that shield move? Uh, yeah, because that's not an entity. I'll do a separate roll for that. We got the shield away from them. So I guess mission accomplished. Other than the fact that they're probably going to want to kill us here in a second. Yeah. I mean, they were going to try and do that. Only a little bit. The frost of monster. I mean, why do you always roll crap during initiative, but everything else you roll high on? <laughs> I don't know. Oof. Are you, Are you a monk? I put barely anything in decks. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um. How? <laughs> Dex is supposed to be your best stat. <laughs> it it did make sense for a, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, it what? makes sense for Goliath, but holy crap! <laughs> what, what is uh, your uh, Dex in eight? Uh, Kyle, my Dex, yeah. Positive number. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I don't have very many of those. Well, what is it? It's 14 plus 2. Okay. So you go first. Uh, okay. Do you guys have a little clock on your tool ball on the left? I don't see one. Mm. Clock? Yeah, it should look like a little clock. If you don't, then uh, maybe I'm the only one who has a turn tracker. No, I don't got it. No, I don't see that. Okay. Uh, there's a turn order thing. Yeah, turn order. That's, uh... Okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a spell I haven't used in a while. The first level spell? It is a first level spell. Yes. I'm gonna cast it at second level. Chance for wild magic surge. Yes. What do you mean a spell you haven't used in a while? You use that spell literally every encounter. Oh, uh, you're thinking of catapult. You have oh, used of ice knife. You've used both. I've used both. Well, I'm gonna be targeting this sh this schmuck in the middle here. Oh, I got the wrong thing on. I'm gonna target this guy in the middle here with the ice knife. Okay. Suddenly, I don't like where I'm standing. <laughs> you should be safe. Q. 
He would have shook. <laughs> yeah, you're just out. You're, just, you're out of the range. Uh, do I have a? Did I do something convenient for myself here? With the knife? I did. Oh, you didn't roll one. Does that hit? Uh, nope. that does not hit. I'm gonna use Tides of Chaos to give me advantage, which means you can choose whether I lose Tides of Chaos or I just roll on the magic wild magic table and get it back. It gives me advantage, though. Can they bring their dog? Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I just lose the size of chaos? Yeah, I gotta say so with a roll like that! <laughs> well, you should make them roll the magic... T magic... Okay, roll wild magic. magic. Roll wild magic. Alright, that means I get it back. That's more entertaining. Thousand. That was a D1000. Not bad, I gotta roll the right one. I do not have the sheet up, so give me a second. You forgot the zero. Yeah, I did. Uh, there we go. I'm almost there. 836. Yep, so you guys see an ice knife slam into the ground right in so, front of this uh, monster. <laughs> What no eyes see is instead of the standard like yellow that uh, <laughs> Sweet Roll has, it turns into like rainbow floaty. <laughs> Aster falls down the next flight of steps he's steps he encounters. Nice. Oh, that's probably not gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, I know just how to flavor that too. Anyways, uh, well. I missed, but you see the last knife land here, so I'm gonna have to make them all have a make a deck save. They all must make a deck save. Everyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This guy, this schmuck, and the big guy. Luckily, they all have the same stats, so I only really need one character sheet. <laughs> Okay, never mind, I do absolutely no damage. <laughs> I want to do something, so I'm going to spend uh, two commit, or is it three? Yeah, I think it's three to get a second level spell. I'm going to spend my three command points to do quicken spell and cast it again. Command points? Command points? <laughs> I'm not sorcery playing Woodhammer! <laughs> I'm using my sorcery points. I'm gonna use my sorcery points to do it again, damn it. I roll, I use one command point to re roll the. Uh... <laughs> if, we, if we had command points, I would have re rolled the uh, combo spell. <laughs> that hits. That one hits. That's gonna do damage. That's that second. Level. No, wait. I gotta check to see if I can do this second level. I think I have two second level spell slots, though. Put the same spell? Yeah. Yeah, I got two I slots, now we're zero. Yeah, I roll to see if it goes off again, I think. I do need to roll to see if it goes off again. I really just wanted to keep going off. <laughs> oh, 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 At the... Alright, so the guy in the middle is going to be taking 1d10 piercing. Ooh. They have to make another save. Yep, they have to make another save. Deck save again. As the as ice, ice knife explodes once again. It's time embedded in me, fella. Damn it. Damn it. One. Well, one this failed. is gonna hit the guy. Yeah, one failed. It's gonna take this much cold damage for the guy who failed. Ooh. And that's my turn. As you see, like uh, two two blades of ice shoot past the party and slam into the 
uh, around this breast monster here <laughs> and explode. This, this breast monster too. goes up to Nakai. Nakai bites it. <laughs> Actually, it bites Nakai. <laughs> oh no! The turn's tabled. How the what? The turn's tabled, man. The turn's have tabled. Nope. All right. Next is Jendo's turn. Well, let's see. I don't want Benedict getting hit by any of these. I'll Benedict, get away! And I'll like move here. <laughs> and I'll shoot the damaged one, I guess. I mean, they're all damaged. The really damaged one. Uh, yes. Alright, let's see how much damage they do. The 15, obviously, plus 23. And damage. And if I believe correctly, I do. I am going to so do my extra 9 attack. damage? And 10? To this one. Okay, minus 10. And you also have a plus two from your ring, don't you? Or is that already uh, applied? Should already be a... Is it for damage or to hit? To hit. Let's see, pull in that. Yep. Okay. I mean, not actually. Five, nine, six, nine, eleven. No, it's not. <laughs> So we'll move in it's a 16. The 11. Yeah, it comes from my archery. Yeah. Alright. Um, so, second attack. It's definitely. Uh, it's dead. Aha! I have killed another. Fucking nightmare. <laughs> I get I get extra attack at fourth level. Um, you still get all these bonuses from being ninth level. I do get all these bonuses from being ninth level, like having twenties in some of my stats. <laughs> I am. Uh, you have twenties in your stats. I bet some of my stats aren't even higher. Than, aren't even ten. <laughs> uh, that's all he's gonna do. Where's my arrows? Yeah, that's my turn. Alright. Um, skip that turn. So it's dead. Benedict's turn. Benedict will come up to this one. And he will. Let's see. He's going to cast acid. What? How? Why? Most oh, important. Sorry. When. Um. I was trying to edit the thing, and I accidentally clicked it. <laughs> Let me just ignore that. Uh, how do I cast a spell? You did cast a spell. Okay, how do I roll to hit? I don't know how you guys do the roll to hit for the... You... Just do a standard d20? Go to spells, and you click... 
probably spell attack. Bonus or something. That's that's what I was getting. Uh, let's check and let's see. No. Uh. But I'll just roll d20. It's I don't know what spell modifier is. Does he use uh, intelligence? Uh, wisdom. Wisdom. So you roll a d20 and add your wisdom plus proficiency bonus. Uh, not the spell attack bonus. Yeah, for the spell attack, it's um, you roll a d20. It's wisdom plus proficiency bonus. No, he does not hit. Okay. So that's Benedict's turn. He uh, goes up to Jandar. Cool. I'm too dexterous to hit me. Hit totally. I see 17. <laughs> Only doing three damage. Makai's turn. Oh, it hurts so bad. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Hide it back. <laughs> uh -huh. What'd you do? Or decide, I'm trying to decide in what way to hit it back. You know what? This is probably going to backfire. But I'm going to test out my lightning tooth. I haven't actually had a chance to use it yet. Oh, no. Something. It is. <laughs> okay, that's... It should already be uh, in there. One second. So if you uh, click the byte that's in chat, it should. Yeah. There you go. Three damage. I did. I did not know I could do that. I thought I had to type out the damage rolls. Uh... So did Literally. I until I discovered it, and for some reason neither Kyle or <laughs> Kevin told me about it, and I was doing it for the entire first campaign. <laughs> okay. I thought you already knew about it, and you just were choosing not to do it. No eyes turn. Okay then. Uh... One sec. How do you properly move in this? Uh, you click and drag. Yeah, but uh, how do I know how far I'm going? Uh, there should be a, a measuring stick in your toolbar you can use. Ah. So you can move 40 feet, you can move all the way out to here. All the way out to there? Yep. Alright then, but that goes past them. Uh, 
Set it there. This eighty five <coughs> and that would leave me with five feet. And I go to there. I think go there. I then. And my turn. Alright. Sweet roll stone. Mm. Totem looks. Oh, oh dear. Uh oh. What? Accidentally kicked myself out. <laughs> how could you do such a thing? I don't know how. I'm gonna blame it on technology witches again. Alright, who's listening to help you right now? Now, I mean, there's two guys on this one. There's two people on this one. I'm still on the ruler, hold on. Two people on this one, one person on this one. I suppose you don't want me to fling the shield at them. <laughs> Is that even in range? And if it's 120 feet. I then, then yeah, it's in this range. <laughs> yep, well within it. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cast catapult to slam this. Hit this. I'll cast catapult. Hit this guy with the shield. Hey, you can Why? Why waste a perfectly good shield? You know. Right, let me roll the one. D, the d twenty first. So you're catapulting it at them. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The. So, uh... Uh, magic does not go off. I'm gonna get the spell. Unfortunately. <laughs> He's already face planting into stairs. <laughs> yeah, but it's more entertaining for me. Yeah, they gotta make a save real quick. Uh, deck save? Yeah. And it's the one with Nakai, correct? Oh, it's a big one. Oh, the big one? Big one. I've seen a guy fight things before. Oh, it's gonna take the full damage. It's gonna take nine whole damage. And then that's also for the item, correct? Yeah, that's also for the shield that takes it. It slams into it doing the nine damage. And then just shatters into dust. We're gonna investigate that. I got nothing else to throw. You got the corpse of the other one. Oh, arrows. I suppose I do. Forget about those. Um. Uh, yeah. Other than that, she's just gonna try and move up. To. I don't know. She's got thirty feet. She's gonna go right there. And that'll be her turn. Alright. This thing is once again going to try to uh, 
fighting Kai. That is. Two damage. He was lucky, son of I don't seem to be doing much. Next is Jando's turn. And you're shooting normal arrows, correct? Um, yes, I am shooting normal arrows. Okay. So, at the big one. It hits. Cool. Oh, I gotta recheck this out because I refreshed my page. Plus 53. Damage. And I it, shall it, shoot it. Dead. Oh, it's dead? It's dead. It's nice as so is the other one. And completely fail and roll a one. I mean, it still hits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking... Even when you roll a one, it hits. Although it is so an at one, so, so I'm gonna say no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, that one never, never hits. Target you want to at least. I'm just saying that if it wasn't an at one and it was just as like a one, it still would have hit. <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. Just, man. just, just that cool. That's why it's very to play a freaking fighter. The bull. Uh, Benedict's turn. He's gonna run up and just sucker punch this thing. <laughs> it hits. Oh, that's a nice prosthetic punch. Creatures within ten feet are dead. <laughs> well, frick. Huh. Only one turn. <laughs> I can't hear anything. <gasps> and it's dead. Nope. Oh. I, uh... Thing. And it's thrown back 1d20. Do we get opportunity attacks because it leaves? Uh, if... well, not me, but Nikai. If you're close enough when it gets thrown over I'm here. Not, but <laughs> Nikai should be able to get an opportunity attack. Yeah. Second. I'll just bite again. That's not it. Did I get one because it's close? Uh, you were not in the combat, so I'm gonna say no. So that ends Benedict's turn, and it goes to Nakai's turn. How ironic! <laughs> The guy's just like, get here. This time, I'm actually gonna. Yeah. No, 
no, never mind. Just keep biting. <laughs> My rolls are getting worse. Nope. <laughs> the end your turn? Yep. This is not your lucky day. No eyes turn. <laughs> okay then. I walk over and hit it on on the head with my stick. You hit. <laughs> hit person with staff. <laughs> uh, then, that that, that so, is what um, it does. Now what do I do to roll for damage? Uh, click the quarter staff in the chat. Deals five budgeting. Still alive. Sutro's turn. Um. You know what? Let's, let's light this guy on fire. I'm gonna put a bonfire uh, on his little butt over here. Don't need him. Don't need to put my allies on fire. That should be a deck save again. Yep. Should be a sick one being set on fire. Well, shoot. <laughs> I'm not doing good this way, way, time. Uh, hmm. Okay. Ah, I can't do this. You know what, F it, I'll just go over here. Swing around. Actually, no, I'll swing around, put him in a murder sandwich. And that'll be my turn. Uh, you see, uh, the, she's actively being angry at it now. <laughs> Goes to bite Nakai. Bring the closest. Hit. Six. Ooh, we are not looking too good. Six damage? Yep. I am at one health. It takes some more damage. Ish. Oh, I just realized Uriel was our healer. Yeah, it's gonna be a hard to not use. I mean, because we can only use our pits once per dungeon, right? Uh, yes, per dungeon, which, yeah, and you're still in open area, so. Yeah, so when we get there, we're gonna have to rest a lot. Spent a couple months in there. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> mm. Damage. 
Oh. <laughs> Sorry, uh, give me a second. All right. You take six fire damage as I, uh, I, I'm somehow miraculously remember to uh, do, settle that. Jando's turn. It's uh, still alive. Yep. Right, I'm going to step over these dead bodies over here. If I can get a clearer shot. And then I'm going to shoot it. Once more. Hope it dies. You oh, it. <laughs> I, I'm, I think that might be a miss, actually. Uh, actually, I think that's a crit. Yeah. Nah. So, Which means 20. Dollars. $10. 10. Dollars. 20. So 10. Don't add the 7 to this. So, 18. 18 damage. It, it, it's dead. It, it's, oh. like, super dead. Hit it at just the right, right spot. Or are we supposed to be inspecting that, uh, that shield? <laughs> That's where I was heading. Oh. I'm still hide. Um. I have no idea what happened to it. Let's keep going. Are you going to attempt to retrieve your arrows? That is a good thing. I should definitely try to do that. Uh, I'm so, just going to say right now, don't roll. You pull one out and uh, the tip just falls into dust. Dust, dust. <laughs> yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Well, there's not more of those or else I'm going to run out of arrows really quickly. Come on. Move deeper in and you see two skeletons that appear to be on fire. As well as something else. You can't quite... So we're fighting two naked skeletors? You don't really understand what you're looking at. Probably saved my spell slots. What the hell would that? Um, I don't know. Let's avoid it. It looks scary. I think that's a smart idea. To let to take the long way around. around. I would definitely suggest not engaging in combat. Did roll initiative, so. Yeah, roll initiative. It's engaging combat with you. <laughs> oh no! Uh, can I uh, disengage? Yeah, will give them an opportunity of attack if they're close enough. <laughs> what if I just like disengage and move back? Because uh, I kind of need to, like, leave. You need to leave? It's dinner time. Ah. Yeah, you disengage. <laughs> yeah, I disengage and move back. Alright, then I'll see if I can come back after dinner, but we'll see. Did not mean to do that. They're hosed! After we rolled two initiatives because I didn't change tokens by accident. Yeah. 
There we go. Did you do the whole initiative? Yeah, you did. You got the same thing you did last time. Okay. Hello? Hello. Is Zander still here? <laughs> Sorry, I dozed off. What, what's going on? Roll initiative. Yeah, we're being we attacked again. By cowards. I just like my token. Jumumu. Oh, you got it. And then. Shit. So a skeleton goes first. So he's off over there. You, you just kind of see uh, no eyes run away. <laughs> so why did we bring him along again? Uh, just to be our front line. One critical hit, one critical fail. Sons of the spectrum there. Sixteen, sixteen times two. Um. Thirty-two. Benedict has a s severe burn. <laughs> Street rolls turn. Um, um I didn't get any of my spell slots back yet, did I? No. Oh, man. That's not I shouldn't have used all my spell slots on those. <laughs> Does anyone here speak Abyssal? Um, nope. I should only have uh, a common. 
or an incompetent. Languages. Common Druidic Draconic. I do have a character, nope. Vistal, just not in this campaign. I speak common and elvish. Okay. Elvishly common. Um, I get the strange feeling that a that a bonfire will not work. Um, I'm gonna hurt my finances. I'm gonna just use my last spell slot to uh. Cast catapult with one of my gold coins at this guy. He's the uh, as you see, sweet roll pull out a co coin and uh, basically flick it at this guy here. So that'll be a deck save. And also, one also me rolling wild magic. Oh, wow, magic doesn't go off. So, yeah, the, the, this guy up here needs to make a deck save. Our lady did. Got an eight. Oh, he failed. All right, he's going to take some damage. going to be... 11 damage. On, hatch. That's a that's a fifteen bludgeoning damage there. Fifteen damage, jeez. Okay. Fifteen bludgeoning damage. Your is coin like... is gone forever now. <laughs> oh, I, I figured I was I figured that was gonna happen, and I'm gonna hide behind the lizard. You're gonna hide behind the lizard with one HP. I'll hide behind the the blonde guy. <laughs> <laughs> with fourteen HP. What? I'm sure he's doing better off than I am. <laughs> okay, next, Benedict's turn. He's gonna have to risk it. Does not hit. Okay. Jando's turn. Alright, I'm going to throw skink. That's a bonus section, right? Yeah. Throwing skink out here or something. We can cast a minor illusion. Skink has arrived! And he's gonna cast minor illusion. Oh. Okay. Oh, that changes things. What is he casting the illusion of? So I'm trying to think of spell save DC 24. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, he's gonna, he's gonna try and, um, uh, make the illusion of, yeah. Um, a sexy skeleton over here. <laughs> uh, where? Like over here or something. 
Fica lá aqui. The burning skeletons. Don't judge their preferences. So they can be distracted by that. They have to save a. They have to do a s intelligence save. Oh. So where is it being placed? <laughs> Over here. Over here. I'm not. I'm not seeing your pings. In the top right corner. Ah, top right corner. Over here works too. Whatever. Wherever. Okay. <laughs> And they both have to make an intelligence. Yeah, and we could just have to make an intelligence saving throw. Oh, I have more spell slots than I thought. Okay. That fails. I think anything fails. Anything fails, it's a spell save 24. No, natural 20. Even then, it would go down to an 18 because they have a minus 2 to intelligence. <laughs> oh, that's uh, interesting to know. Alright. So, they, they uh, get distracted. This one uh, ends up getting disengaged. Okay. And then, Jandar himself, with his two remaining back actions, is going to shoot an arrow into this one. But he's going to shoot two arrows, and one of them is going to be a frost arrow. Okay. So a regular arrow. That's 1d8. I'm assuming that hits. Uh, you 28. Yeah, that hits on... This thing? Oh. Yeah. Okay, and it's actually get critical because it's critical? the ice hour. Ice hour you're shooting at him? No, no, no. That's that was a normal arrow. Okay, so no, it's a normal arrow. Next one's gonna be an ice arrow. This one is fifteen. The ice arrow. Anyway. Hits. Critical damage. Plus, on this one, with this one, the closest or farthest. Oh. On him, okay. So seventeen damage total with the second arrow. Okay. Ow! It reels in pain. Get it with fire! Oh, wait. Next is Nakai's turn. Okay. Um, oh, she wouldn't happen to speak Abyssal, would you? I do not. Me? Yeah. Oh, See. Josh is back. Welcome back! Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am back. Snuck in. Uh, no, I do not. Well, I don't want to get close to this thing. <laughs> so I'm actually back up a little. And then I'll just fire my sling at it. <laughs> that does not hit. Ooh, okay. Oh, hey. I forgot to do something. Forgot to do something? We all get 75 XP from the last battle. 
Oh yeah, 75 XP. <laughs> Calculator. <laughs> Don't judge me. Plus you've been, you've been heavily five. judged. Seventeen forty-two. Seventeen for everyone. Uh, Seventy-five for everyone. I mean. Okay. So, the end of your turn. Uh, yes. Sorry, didn't realize you're talking to me. Still doesn't realize his fate. Now the furious demon is uh, <laughs> throwing fire at N at uh, Jandar. <laughs> it's literally throwing fire. Um, seventeen. And misses. Nope. De yeah, no. <laughs> Completely fooled. Uh, imagine rolling a minus one. Sweet rolls turn. Oh, sweet. I'm a... I'm checking something real quick. Uh, to this cost of sorcery points, because I've got more than left. Um, will uh, Noise be joining the fray? Mm. Currently, have him distracted by a sexy, a uh, pole dancing skeleton. skeleton. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna use twin spell. Hit. Hey, actually, how close are they together? The older. Uh, they are. Ten feet. Ish. Ah, uh, darn. Uh, I'm gonna do twin spell on them. I'm gonna hit them with it. Oh, whoops. A mind sliver. That's going to be both skeletons. That's intelligence. Oh, they might be able to make this intelligence safe. <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. Ah, you got them distracted. I'll blow their brains up. She's like concentrates really hard as I uh, hit them with a whopping two psychic damage. Okay. She playing the uh, snapshot? No. No, I think it's playing Minecraft. Yeah, just on the Xbox. Mm. Right. I don't know. I'm uh. Dandy turn. 
Yeah, I'm gonna move a, move a little over here though, and then I'll. End it. Yeah, that's, that's the end of my turn. As I uh, as I spike their minds. <laughs> ha! They're foolish. Benedict is uh, going to use cure wounds. Oh, he has cure wounds. To uh... okay, he's done the creative healer now. <laughs> So one D eight plus four. He gets six HP back. Who does? Benedict. Hmm. He'll then uh, walk Nick. over to Nakai. <laughs> I was gonna say Nakai like looks at him and says like, "Do me next." Uh, that ends his turn. Jandar's turn. I'll be right back. My cat is at the door. <laughs> Tell her he's a good kitty. Hercules loves His cat is named Hercules? It depends which cat you're talking about, but it's probably Herc. <laughs> I was not in love with me, though. I don't remember the name of the one that's in love with me. Alright, I'm gonna shoot. Um... What does Gunskink do? The concentration spell. Mm -hmm. Oh, it isn't a concentration spell. Text message. I have returned. The master has returned. Alright. The Herky. What? The Herc? Yeah. Right. So what will you do? Uh, I'm going to shoot this one again. Okay. Uh, this one, once with the normal arrow. Yep. yep. I do damage. Oh. My guy. Is it still alive? Yes. Um, okay, I shall shoot it again. I guess I'll do another normal arrow. Hits. Thirteen damage. Still alive. 
Oh my gosh. Still alive? I don't know, it's looking kind of dead to me. Ink. Or undead? Um, what will Skink do? I guess that's the thing. I guess... Skink will stand there and look awesome. <laughs> he does like a little Superman pose. <laughs> yeah. Not <laughs> totally looking out towards this sexy skeleton he created. Hold on, let's see. Yeah, he does a little Superman pose. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Nakai. If you end your turn. Yes, I do on my turn. Okay. Nakai's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm not moving because I want Benedict to heal me. <laughs> <laughs> so, is so there anything you I can do? You can sling this one again. Here. Let me see. Can I actually sling that far? Let me measure the distance. <laughs> You can measure it, there's a measuring tool, yeah. Yeah, I know, I was grabbing the measuring tool. Uh, that's 38 feet. What is the range on my sling again? I think it was 60. Oh, oh. oh. Josh left. <laughs> uh, my, the range on my sling is 30. Wow. Uh, so that is slightly too far. Well, I mean, I could still shoot it, but I... Yeah, have, you could uh, move. Just... Slightly. <laughs> well, I guess if I move a little bit, I'd still have movement left over. Yeah. And that I could use yeah. to move back. All right, yeah. I'll... <laughs> you can you can actually move like halfway there, and then run back. I'll, I'll, all right, I'll move like there. That's good enough. Uh, let's see. Sling. Uh, which one are you hitting? Uh, the demon. Uh, that hits. Three damage! Oh my god. He's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will run back. Imagine if you killed it with that. Oh, <laughs> then. Uh. Next is the skeleton. <sighs> Does it realize no? I also get the minus one d four to that. Not that that one matters. <laughs> Rage Demon will once again try to fling fire at Jandar. Oh no! Misses me by two. Mm. Okay. Oh, you Skeleton! No. They, they are really interested in this skeleton. <laughs> sweet roll! <laughs> oh, sweet, they're next to each other. The. Uh, see about putting a knife in their backs. Uh, nice cold ice. Nice cold I'd ice. say uh, if you try to hit these ones, you have advantage because they're distracted. Oh, whoops. Yeah, let me just, uh... They hit. Alright, so is this guy here? This guy? Yeah. Okay. 
take a total piercing damage, and now they both have to make a deck save. I'm unmuted. <laughs> I also got to roll a 1d20 for wild magic, actually. <laughs> Sorry. So two damage? No. Uh, that was a, a two piercing damage. They got to roll for avoid the cold damage. Dex. That's a fail. Seven, seven uh, cold damage. As a uh, ice slams into a guy's spot back and uh, explodes. Yeah, it's like a little hot. Why don't you cool down? What is it grabbing? Uh, so it's ice damage. So you uh, get bonus damage to both of them. So Sweet. roll that for me. So just. Oh, to do another 2d6? Gotcha. 7 damage to both. More damage. Alright. Benedict's Boom. turn. He's gonna heal uh, Akai. Nikai gains 6 HP. Thank you. Oh, ho! 6 HP. Jender's turn. Jender shall shoot demon. Um, one normal, and we'll see if it kills it, and then if it doesn't, then I'll do it. Hits. You're basically uh, hitting on anything other than one. Still lives. Still lives? Okay, then I'm gonna shoot an ice arrow. It's. <laughs> Is that. That's the critical, right? No, it's not. Yeah, the ice one is crit. Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. It does an extra 1d8 damage. It is like mega dead. Well, let me make sure that it does an extra 8 damage. Oh god. So, killed that one. Uh, yeah, you killed it so badly that the explosion of steam just sends arrows <laughs> sending out he lost fired three. Oh no um no not three in total uh how many normal arrows how many normal arrows yeah because the uh ice oh. ones immediately get destroyed after you fire them three three normal arrows yeah Nope, four. Four? Four normal arrows? So Skink and Benedict have to make a uh, deck save. Skink, 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 skink. Benedict saves. They both save. Alrighty. Oh. Those other two still standing? Yes. No. As soon as the demon dies, it, like, turns into a smoke and go fades away. And, uh, the, uh, fire in the skeletons 
go out, and they just crumble to the ground. Ah! With others. I'm gonna take Skink back in. How much XP is that? Uh, one sec, I'll do calculations. Okay, I see. Hmm. Only three of you participated. Two hundred and eighty-three. Each. Total or each? Each. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, like, subscribe, share with your friends, and shout out to our sponsor, Crackhead Cafe. Link to their site will be in the description, as well as our promo code, Crackhead Cafe, and our promo code, Bunny10. Use that checkout to get a 10% off of your purchase. Maybe help us out a little bit too. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.